We're gonna kick it off. We're gonna jump in the eyes of Big Timer. Big Timer is a member of Optic Gaming. He's also a 13-time champion. He's the most successful player in the history of Call of Duty. He's gonna try to help his team, and they are off to a good start at 11 and four. Big Timer looking to get his first kill, and now he's cranked. So time's running him down on the clock. Picks up another one. Finally gets taken out there. Let's switch on board with Nate Shot, who's actually on the other team, but an Optic Gaming member. So we're gonna get in the eyes of Nate Shot, see if he's able to get his team back on his shoulder. He's gonna pick up his first kill there. So Nate Shot, time's running down on the clock, 25 seconds left in Crank. He's gonna play a little bit conservative here to see if he can get a kill. Pops up, takes him out, and nice play by him. Now, Fuiz, it's really important to mention in Call of Duty Ghost, as soon as the first player dies, he's gonna go ahead and drop a briefcase. Now, from that briefcase, you're gonna get a field order. It could be absolutely anything from humiliate your opponent to get a headshot, get two kills whilst prone. If you get that, you're actually gonna go ahead and get a care package. And from that care package, you get absolutely anything. Could even be an Odin Strike. And TP has it right now. So, if, if he's able to get the Odin Strike from this, from the field orders, that's going to be good they, uh, it, this, it just decimates yeah. everything. You guys are going to love it. I hope he's able to pull it off here. So TP, 18 nope. seconds left. The field order is down. He was not able to complete it. So now you got to wonder who's able to pick it up. Let's jump on board with Lance Corporal Rodriguez here. He is cranked with 25 seconds left. He's going to try to do something about it. Frantically looking for his team. And now he's got somebody in sights. Gets taken out there. And the field order's yet to be picked up and executed on Benson. Yep, that's going to be somewhere down. Meanwhile... Someone's actually on a five kill streak, but we'll stay on board with him for now as he's actually going to get attacked from the right. Well, they'll see the play directly in front of him. Uh, so there's actually a night owl flying around there. Yeah. That's <laughs> nice to see. Someone getting some streaks. Absolutely. And now Clayster of Complexity, he's got the bot or the field order and not able to do it. He did have the field orders for a quick second there, not able to capitalize on that. Close game between these two squads, 57 and 48, as we're going to switch in the eyes of Complexity's teammate there, TP. He is also on the squad that has got three consecutive championships now on their belt. He's doing oh, yeah. a great job. He's going to try to bring that energy and intensity here for his team, 68 to 53. And now let's see what TP is able to do. He does. Oh, that was his teammate. There's the kill, and he's going to pick it up. So now TP is cranked. Everyone desperately still looking for those field orders to try to capitalize on that situation. Shots being fired, picks up another kill. TP on a roll. Benson, he's looking good now. He's looking so good. He's currently 9 and 5. He's playing fantastic. 22 seconds left. Field orders have been received. All he now needs to do is actually get a kill off. Oh, but he's going to go oh, down. Oh. Field orders failed once again, Flizz. Oh, man. It's tough. You know, it's how oh, yeah. easy because sometimes, you know, it'll be something as simple as getting, you know, one or two kills while prone. But... In a game like Cranks, where everything is moving so quickly and you are, it, it, the energy and intensity is so high, it can be sometimes difficult to execute on that. Let's switch over, and I want to get in the eyes of Corporal Kelly, as now they, they do have the Odin Strike. It looks like that's what's down there. Is that right, Benson? Yeah, the, the, it's bad. They just need to pick it up. Oh, my gosh. I, I can so see on the map, you can see that little tag just to Corporal Kelly's left-hand side. That is the sign of the Odin Strike. I'm not sure exactly where it's landed on the map. Hopefully they haven't got it. I mean, the chance of getting a minimal is they've got it and thrown it outside the map. Well, I, I mean, I did that. It's a bit of a nightmare, really. It happens to the best of us sometimes, yeah, but they've not been able to go get it, so we'll see what's able to happen as we're going to stick on the eyes of Corporal Kelly here, see if the U.S. Marines can bring this one home. It is 109 to 78, so incredibly close matchup here between these two squads. Let's see, though, if they can come back. Yep, very, very close game for now. But staying on him now, he is cranked. 24 seconds for him to try and pick up a kill. Obviously, if he doesn't get that kill, he is going to explode. And time is dwindling down. Just 20 seconds left. But and now jumping on with Optic Gaming's date shot. He gets taken out. Now he's going to spot back in. Let's see if he's able to pick it up. He is cranked there. 27 seconds left. And now he's moving quickly to see if he can find anybody. You see Riley's on the map as well. See if he can help out Nate Shine Company. Oh, and there it is. Let's see what he's able to do. 18 seconds left. Still looking for somebody to pick up. Time's when he's out. Frantic. He's not. Is he able to get this oh, kill? No. Oh. Nate Shot not able to come through with it. He's going to get taken out. 141 to 94. And now we are going to jump over to Big Timer. He's going to have to try to bring his team back in it because they are down and it is looking dismal for this squad. They've got to turn it around right away if they want to do something about it. And Big Timer looking to see if he can pick anybody up. Oh. And that is going to be it. It's going to be 